Hey everybody, I'm Matthew Cook, and this is episode 84 on the Tactical Dad Podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk 0.223 Remington and 5.56 NATO. What are the differences? Because there are differences. And we're also going to talk my preference for home defense, ammunition, uh, my ammunition preference for home defense. So let's get into it. I had the pleasure of speaking to two ammunition companies. <clears throat> Fortunately, they have agreed to uh, have a couple of people from their companies join me on the podcast in the coming weeks to talk ammunition. It's a, it's a hot topic. It is a much discussed and much debated topic, especially these two particular um, pieces of ammunition. Some will argue they're the same, others will argue they are different. Some will argue, yeah, basically some are going to argue that they're the same, some are going to argue that they're different. So let's just get straight into it rather than beat around the bush. So they are different. Fact. There are many people that will argue that they are the same, but they're not. So even though the thing that is the same is they have the exact same external cartridge dimensions. That is what is the same. However, they are different. And which is which is why you should not load a 5.56 millimeter NATO piece of ammo into a 0.223 Remington chamber because it will cause a higher chamber pressure when it's fired. The higher pressure can you know it that for, if you if you do it once, it's probably not going to do much then and there. But it is technically still damaging the rifle. And that's the last thing you want to do. That's the point. No point at all. And you could hurt, you could hurt yourself as well at the end of the day. You, you, there is the potential for that. So just don't do it. Now, why would they? Why would they? Why would they make guns chamber differently, and and state that? Because it obviously they di- because they're different. Obviously. Uh, so, however, when you if you you know you shoot a .223 Remington ammunition in a 5.56 NATO chamber, is completely fine. That's what I can do, which is why I have the benefit of, t- of using both ammunition. Also, one's cheaper, so I can use one at the range more than the other. So, there's differences. That is that is the difference. And yeah, there are there are other specification differences which. I am going to save that for the ammunition experts because I think I will provide more value to anybody that listens and watches via that way. So let's just let that let's just go into my preference now learning more about guns and ammo. And I still got way more to learn. In fact, I learn a lot from all the comments on these TikToks and Instagrams and YouTubes and podcasts. I learn a lot from from all you people just commenting, so it's very helpful. Thank you. So I now have a preference. After learning about some ammunition types, I have a preference for home defense. And this is what I've got. I have a couple of magazines ready with this in my safe for home defense. And um, I'm going to lay out the specifics. Now, I thought it was pretty cool. The, the, abbreviation, the abbreviation for this type of, excuse me, for this type of ammunition is HPBT. And it means hollow point boat tail. So pretty, pretty cool. It, they, they are really designed for hunting and self-defense. They, they're different. They are... Um, the heavy, oh, in fact, let me, because there's a few, there's a few brands that do it, so, the, the one that I have, let's get to it, so, the best home defense, because I think it is actually, um, Remington, so, here we go, so, the Remington 223 77 grain HPBT, that is my preference for home defense. And let's get into the hollow point boat tail. So, and this particular one, um, 
just from the name Remington, you can already assume that it's going to be more expensive. And you're right, it is. You know, you buying the brand, and in this industry, if there's anything I've learned so far, it is that you kind of st stick with. It, in terms of guns and ammo, stick with known brands, um, especially new gun owners and people that haven't been in this space for you know years and don't work with guns and ammo on a daily basis i would i would advise sticking to the brands and as you get more experienced then obviously you start to understand the materials the construction of things and you can then you can start to taper off and and test things and your personal preferences come into it then but i have gone with these and i think would be safe for other people to go with it too. So Remington 223 77 grain hollow point boat tails. So with this particular with this particular round, the, the, the specification of it, so it is the uh, brass casing, hollow point boat tail, the, the weight is 77 grain, hence 77 grain. Um, and it's it's a heavier it's a heavier hollow point bullet in fact it's one of the heaviest that is available so it'll pack a bit more of a punch and the whole deal with a with a hollow point is that when the when when, when the upon impact the the bullet itself will expand causing a lot more damage Hence why the big, no, hence why it would be good for home defense. If somebody somebody breaks into your house and you hit them with one of these, it's not so much going to penetrate, but it's going to really expand upon impact. So it'll it'll like it'll cause some serious damage, and it's going to put it's going to put some sucker down straight away. It's not just going to uh, penetrate and go straight through. So that's the hollow point part. Hollow points are designed for that. And with that, with that complexity of ammunition, you can expect it to be more expensive, and which it is. And then you throw a name brand on top of it, it's gonna be even more expensive. But very, very helpful for home defense. You wouldn't take these to go and practice at the range with at all. Um, and then the, the boat tail part of, um, this HPBT, so hollow point, the first part, and then BT, boat tail, refers to the dynamics, um, the aerodynamic shape of the bottom of the bullet. And the base is tapered to improve accuracy over long distances. So you kind of blend in both accuracy and the expansion of the bullet upon impact, which is which is great. Now, I know like home defense, a lot of it's going to be close quarters. You're going to be you know, someone's not going to be 50 yards away from you. Most likely, they're going to be inside that. But still, it is it's helpful, like for hunting or something. If you're going to going to hunt hunt uh, around 100 yards, 150 yards. So, the I'm I'm going to I'm going to label my pros for this, which is it's a trusted brand. It's a heavier bullet, so it's got more knockdown power, uh, power, and it is perfect to take somebody out because it's a hollow point. That's now my preference for home defense. So if anybody that is like what I was like, just in just in this game for the home defense, self-defense, protecting your castle, protecting your home, your family, go with a hollow point. Just expect it to be more expensive. Go with a hollow point and I, my preference has changed from a handgun to a rifle for home defense. So if you're not there yet, or you might never be there, you can still get hollow points for for a handgun. Like that, that they're still available, widely available. And I would I would also suggest suggest that. But my particular preference for the rifle is what I've just labeled. That's why I'm that's why I'm carrying at the moment anyway. Unless I try out some new things and like them better in the future, but that's what we've got for now. So a hollow point boat tail rifle ammunition preference for me. And just up front, right at the start, the differences of which there are 
for a 0.223 and a 556 because there are people going crazy on our TikTok, like going at each other, saying, no, it's the same. I've tested it myself. I've done all of this. It's the same. There's no difference. And then we've got other people that are like, there's a difference. So they are the differences coming from ammunition experts, which I'm bringing on the show probably in the next two to three weeks. So that's going to be really, really fun. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. Hope you got something out today. Hope I clarified and cleared the whole 0.223 and 556 up at least somewhat there's still going to be folks that argue with that but hey there's nothing else i can do for you there thanks for joining me have a good day i'll see you soon